Pedro Sanchez, kind of how he's come back from the injury and, and kind of got his got it back. Yeah, Rigo's had a great training camp and done great in preseason games and just really excited to see him back to his normal form, obviously coming off an injury last year, but has been really impressive. Um, you know, our net punt has been really, really good every single game. I think it was 51, then 43, 47. Um, done a really nice job so far in training camp. What are you liking from Josh Downs and Isaiah McKenzie doing their punt returns? You know, just like their elusiveness, you know, obviously they're really impressive athletes. They're both, you know, very similar, you know, be, being able to make plays with the ball in their hands out in space. And um, they both have experience both in college and in the NFL, obviously with Isaiah um, as punt returner. So they're just, you know, valuable to have a lot of different guys like that that have ball handling skills that can be able to do that. Seems like a lot of teams have taken, since Colts included, taking kicks out during the preseason. Are you just trying to figure out, like, coverage units and, you know, who may be, who may fit on those in ways that maybe in the regular season you might say, hey, we just need to take the touchback here? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the biggest thing in preseason is trying to put guys in as many positions as possible um, to get a really good evaluation. So we're trying to put guys in a lot of different spots. Hey, you know, this guy could be a potential guy for us in three different spots. Let's take a look at him in all three spots, try to move guys around as many positions as possible, and try to get as many returnable kicks, both for our kickoff team, kickoff return team, so we can evaluate as many guys as possible. There's certainly some situations where maybe we would have taken a touchback, or maybe with the fair catch rule, we would have implemented that in a normal game. However, in preseason, we're really just trying to see you know who can make great decisions, both fundamentally and, and game-based decisions, and try to get as many special teams reps as we possibly can in the preseason. What does this week look like for you with, you know, special teams kind of being a deciding factor on a lot of guys if they make the roster or not? Yeah, I mean, we, we just, you know, have open communication. You know, that's Chris's big thing. Across the entire staff, we just have open communication to kind of talk about our evaluations and where things are with everybody. But, um, you know, as a whole on special teams, our guys gave great effort throughout you know, all the preseason games and just really, really satisfied with that. What's your view on, like, um, like when it comes to return men, um, when does their role, like there's a fine line, I guess, the, the, where their role on the offense or defense maybe starts to factor in whether you do or don't use them. You know, like, for example, Josh Downs and yeah. Isaiah going back and forth with punts. Um, at what point do you feel like that is? You know what I mean? Is there a philosophy with that? Absolutely. There's certainly... Um, across all special teams positions is going to be dictated, you know, how much offense and defensive use do they have will dictate how much special teams use we'll have. Everybody will have some form of role. Obviously, with the 53-man roster, you know, everybody's got to be used in some different way on special teams. But certainly, the guys that are being used really heavily on offense and defense will have a much more limited role on special teams, which will be a conversation between, you know, myself and the offense and defensive staff as we kind of place guys in those different roles and kind of figure out what they can handle based on how much they're being used offense and defensively. Your impression of how Jalen Jones is taking the gunner role? My impression is Jalen has done an unbelievable job um, and made a lot of plays. Um, you know, he was uh, somebody that we tried to put in as many positions as possible to evaluate um, throughout training camp and preseason. And he kind of just took advantage of his opportunities and kept getting more and more opportunities and kind of surprised us at how well he fought and how well he improved his technique at being a gunner and kind of showed up in games doing that. And it was a lot of fun to watch. You look at a guy like Grant Stewart. How much does a guy like that help a team? Like how, you know, how much do you need guys like that who you know give it all and always seems to make a play when he's out there on special teams? He's invaluable because he's just he's one of those in, you know energy guys on the team that at all times, whether it's defense or special teams, um, is given everything he's got. He's a leader on and off the field, um, and guys kind of feed off that energy and what he brings. And his buy-in to special teams really helps. You know, obviously with the young guys and a lot of other guys on the team, they can see how important it is and how he can kind of carve out you know a good career for himself by by making plays on special teams is huge for us.